Much like video game history and Invader Zim, Doom is important to class spectating, and I am going to talk about it because I have a complicated history with Doom, and I have done a lot of harm to the idea of what Doom is. Perhaps not as much as Hope or Rage. But my descriptions of Doom before recently have all been ones soaked in antagonism because I have not had a very strong relationship with Doom. Doom, despite being the first aspect I identified myself to be, to live under, is fairly opposed. To how I view things, and that has only gotten more so with time. But my relationship to Doom has gotten much healthier, and I would like to talk about that. I have known a fair few self-identified Doom players, but I have not really been able to vibe with them to the extent that I have many. Other people from many other aspects. I have at present three people in my life who I consider to be at least fairly close,、um, who are Doom players,、um, and only one of them is one that I really, really understand. That I really vibe with, and that person is a seer, and that's that says a lot. I feel、um, I have long since viewed Doom as kind of a gross villainous force in my life,、um, and that has come to change. In meeting this seer of mine, and even a little bit before then, but that was the time when I really was able to grasp what good can come from Doom, and I am very thankful to them. Now, I'd like to discuss Doom, as I have come to find love in it because. I do love some aspects of Doom, quite a bit. I I genuinely, at this point, have found ways to truly love it, and that is wonderful. I have found ways to love every aspect, and that is wonderful. And I would hope for you that you can reach that point someday if you haven't already, because. No aspect is all bad, and even if you have negative experiences or an inherent disdain, disagreeance with parts of an aspect, there will always be parts that can be helpful for you and can be good to you. Doom is funny because for an aspect so. Clearly and integrally based in rules and laws, my relationship with it didn't get better until I stopped thinking of aspects in those terms. In freeing Doom from the rigidity I had placed it in, I was able to understand that it was never. Like that in whole. Of course, part of it is. It would be stupid to deny that a fundamental part of Doom is the thing that Doom is. It would be like if I were to say that, oh well, I just don't really, I don't get along with with Hope players, but I have managed to find a way to to view Hope as as. Lovely by ignoring the fact that it's, you know, 
faithful. That that would be dumb. Instead, you need to find that love in the parts of that faithfulness or those rules and laws that works for you because parts of any aspect will not work for you even light i have never fully accepted light well okay that's a bad way to word it i have never fully embraced light i'll say because before I was looking at it in a very lighty way, ironically, where I carved into it and made it this perfect ideal that sucked, and I don't like those parts of it anymore. I have a very different perspective on light from what I used to, and I don't idealize a lot of the parts that I used to find to be all that light was. And Doom is not light. Um, there are more similarities than I used to give credit, because there are similarities between all aspects, and that's part of how it works. Things bleed into each other. It's beautiful. I talk about aspects as if they're this beautiful painting all the time because I just really love them. I have a lot of passion for class specting, if you haven't been able to tell. Now, in my ability to respect Doom, I have faced a reality that was difficult for me to grasp, which is how does Doom fit in to my view of leftism? How does Doom work in a world that is so wounded by the current laws, by the current rules and systems of society? How can I care for this thing which has been weaponized against so many people for so long? And the answer is that those rules are stupid, and you don't need to love all of Doom. You don't need to love every application of Doom. Doom and laws and rules and structure is not inherently against anarchism, even if it seems like it should be, because ultimately, anarchism is not about having no rules, no laws. It's about having no rules or laws determined by a higher power that we've assigned or that has been chosen by the gods or whatever. It's about community law. It's about the law of people. It's a very person-driven thing. And people have rules for themselves, even if they don't think of it in those terms. People think and do things in habits, which can fall into time more directly, but is definitely a part of doom. Habits and rituals and traditions. Traditions. Um, I, I cut out, like... 20 seconds of me not remembering that word, so, uh, you know. But traditions are very much so in the time, doom, hope, triangle. And I'm trying to avoid talking about triangle theory too much until I end up making a an episode about that specifically, but I'm gonna briefly mention it here because triangles are a, an easy way for me to talk about things, to talk about this intersecting of aspects, to talk about how things are connected, because fundamentally, hope, time, and doom in our current society are linked. They are inherently linked 
to one another because that is how things are built now and mind blood and light are inherently linked in society but i don't think they inherently have to be more than any other aspect i don't think there's anything innately tying heart to breath and void or light to blood and mind because that's just how we as a culture have bound these aspects and categories are dumb you know that's a that's a, something that i've i've made pretty clear here i think categories are stupid but i also love them i love categories and i love habits and i love re repetition i love 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 repetition because it's fun for me for my brain i love repetition because it's fun for my brain and i that is not just time but also doom and also kind of hope that's just i like this thing i i like this thing so let's do it more let's have faith in this thing to make me feel good to be good because doom is about things being good kind of it's about the idea that if it's not broke you shouldn't fix it and so many systems are broken and so the idea that doom is about not fixing what's broken is hard to grasp when so many people who wield doom in the current society don't see the things that are very clearly broken as broken it's frustrating and that really poisoned my relationship with doom for a long time things can always get better and even when things don't get better there is value in change but there is also value in what you hold for yourself this is veering into space and time territory but again that's just how things go doom is an aspect at its best in my eyes because i understand that i am opinionated on this to a great degree that i have this ideal in my mind of what is the good doom to me doom is at its best when it is for the ones you love when it is keeping you safe and content in a world that is scary doom is in this way tied to blood this community has to be founded on something you have to care enough to take care of one another and that's not to say that you have to take care of people you should not give yourself to people who aren't willing to give themselves back i understand that very well because i've been on both ends many times relationships are a hard topic for me but what i have learned in my time my long 23 years is that what makes a relationship work what makes love work is when you have someone willing to respect you willing to respect what you need and when you are willing to do the same for them when you are able to establish boundaries i have fallen 
in love with boundaries. I have had a long history of not understanding the value of boundaries, of feeling that they closed me off from people, but they don't. They allow me and my relationships to flourish, to be as good as they can be by staying healthy for both of us. This is getting very preachy, but bear with me. Doom and restrictions are only necessary in my eyes when they may allow for things to be better. And that can be a lot more often than I once thought. There is a lot of power in a good, healthy limit. And I've, I, I struggle even talking about it in limits and restrictions because it's not. It's a freedom to be able to know that you can act without causing harm because you know what to avoid. You know how to be good to those you love because you've communicated it. You have made it clear what you value, what you need, and you both respect it, and you grow in a loving, beautiful, lifey way outside of that. But that can't happen in a healthy way without boundaries, without doom. Life cannot exist without doom, as with any aspect pair, and Frankly, I am tired of rampant life, because that has been my life for a long time. This kind of just turned into me gushing about my newfound love for Doom, but maybe that's all it has to be. I hope you have a wonderful day.